In the latest Thursday, the Project Zomboid developers spoke about a full fire revamp they have planned for the future. Now, if you remember some of the older Thursdoids, they've been talking about this for a couple of years ago now, but then had to sideline it for a while because they needed more muscle on the Build 41 multiplayer team, which then resulted in the very successful B41 multiplayer update we got last December. While the fire revamp has been sidelined, it has not been forgotten. And now they're working on it once again. Because it's still in the works, it does not mean we'll be seeing it in the Build 42 update, which is packed with many other features anyway, but it makes it more likely as that one is still probably probably months away. Devs also posted a showcase of some of the new animations and effects and I'll show it throughout this video. If you want to read and watch the full blog post, I'll link it in the description below. Now, let's talk about some of the goals they want to reach with the fire revamp. A more realistic spread of fire with combustible materials that make sense. I'm all about that, as in one of my recent stream playthroughs, I was playing a pyromania character and I always got sad when fire would be spreading through the forest and then just kinda died down. But now, the fire will be able to spread with the direction and speed of the wind and depending on how combustible the materials in its way. Of course, we don't have any specifics on what materials they're talking about here, but we can assume that a tree would be more flammable than a concrete wall, right? In the video they posted, we get a short glimpse of fire spread in action as it goes from one tree to another. But what I'm really hoping for here is to see big wildfires that can consume a whole city. That's a proper apocalypse scenario, right? Just imagine playing like a burned down city, it would be amazing. My assumptions on what is more flammable aside, the devs said they want a system that takes into account temperature, material types, weight, volume, surface area, heat and energy, cooling energy, etc. And while that might seem quite complicated at the first glance, like all the systems in Project Zomboid, it should naturally translate into something that makes sense. Having a higher chance of fire spreading in the summer when the temperatures are higher is just one such example. And now the in-game rain will also help put out fires. So always listen to the weather forecast before trying to burn down a horde of zombies. And if you listen very carefully, you might hear a little sound that says, subscribe. Next comes what I'm really most excited about, a setup for both solo and multiplayer maps where the game can remember what's going on and spreads the fire even when the player leaves the area. If you're not aware how it works right now, the fire only burns where you're in that area. If you leave the cell, the fire kind of pauses and when you return to the same spot, even a month later, the trees, the buildings and even the zombies will still be on fire like no time has passed in between. With a new system, the fire should naturally burn for its full duration, spreading or dying out based on the circumstances, even if you leave, which will be great for burning down high-risk areas packed with hundreds or even thousands of zombies. Last, they're still actively working on improving effects, visuals and animations of fire, explosions, smoke, etc. And we can see a couple of the examples in the attached video. They show the new Molotov explosion effect, campfire effects with fire, sparkles and smoke. They also briefly show a new type of explosion that almost looks like an ammo box exploding, but will probably be used for something like pie bombs, I assume. Although it would be really cool watching ammo crates explode if I were to reach like a military base or a weapon store. They also show smoke bomb explosions and effects, fire on the ground, on zombies, on players, and the swatting animations where the character just frantically tries to put out the fire. It of course it's noted that the animation is still work in progress and they are working on new animations for players and Zeds that are caught on fire. There's one tiny interesting thing where they show a player character with their fists on fire. While it's just an example of how it could look, I think modders could have fun with it and really go wild and give us like fiery fisticuff weapons. Uh, and I for one would love to see that. Now once again a reminder, 
This is not guaranteed to be in the build 42, but all the work they've been doing on it makes it more likely, of course. They still want to improve visuals and animations, and the sound team is working on all kinds of sizzle effects to go with the fire, and they make it even more satisfying when you burn zombies to the crisp. Now, are you gonna try an engineer build and burn zombies into oblivion when fire remamp makes it to the game? Let me know in the comments below or in Discord.